my opinion is it would help me a lot. For Charles Carlisi, the price for prescription drugs he needs has been getting out of reach. Drugs that I get prescriptions for, I don't even bother getting filled out because I can't afford them. That could soon change, not only for Carlisi, but for millions of Americans. Many blockbuster big-name medications will soon come off patent and be offered in generic versions, meaning much lower costs. The next 15 months will bring copycat versions of seven of the world's 20 best-selling drugs, and another 120 will lose protection over the next decade. Consumers are going to start seeing that money in their pocket over the next couple of years. Um, Huge, huge drugs like big blockbusters like Lipitor and Nexium and Singulair, um, medications for heart disease, for asthma, for very common conditions are going to be losing their patent protection. The generics are chemical equivalents to the originals and work just as well for most patients. Seniors are going to benefit in three ways. They're going to have lower costs, uh, they're less likely to hit the donut hole, so that will save them money, and they're more likely to take their medications, which will both improve their health and save them money in the long run. Dr. Nisa Goldberg agrees. She says many people simply aren't getting the doses they need, as high costs have forced many to split pills or even skip doses. I hear about it daily, and you can pretty much tell by the numbers when I check their, the patient's blood pressure or cholesterol levels. Um, they say they're running out of medicine and their blood pressure is higher or their cholesterol is higher. When a drug loses patent protection, the price initially only dips a bit. But as more manufacturers come into play, the price drops dramatically. Over the next three years, one in five consumers will benefit from the availability of these generic drugs. And over the next five years, that number goes down to one in three. So what can consumers expect? Lipitor, Plavix, and Seroquel now retail between $150 and $275 a month. Insurance co-pays for them could drop below 10 bucks, and out-of-pocket costs could be as little as $4. As for the pharmaceutical industry, the shift to generics is forcing tough economic challenges that could bring innovation to a crawl. Analysts say that with the flow of funds from patented drugs drying up, so too will funds for experimental and innovative medicines. Matt Small, The Associated Press.